And when you think about how powerful that word is, it's a boring word, okay, to say on a podcast, right? Because it's not something that you can just go out and buy or learn. Empathy is, is a lot of what I wrote about in the book, right? Because having, having invested and having worked for a principal for 10 years, I know all the things that come up uh, during due diligence. I know how to underwrite. I know how to go and find the debt. I know the difficulties with that. I know what to look for on the management side. I, I mean, I know down to what I hate about some assets and what to look out for from a physicality standpoint. Um, I know what it means to, to hire and fire, you know, the leasing people, the people, the, the landscapers, the, you know, the, you know, phase one, con- how to work with the phase one consultants and the PSA guys. And so my point of all this is when I'm working as a selling broker, right, a listing broker for an agent, and I'm working with lots of buyers, I understand their process. And when things come up or when they write offers and they put certain terms in there that may be peculiar, I know why they're doing it. When something comes up during due diligence, I don't automatically say, screw you, you got 10 guys behind you, get the fuck out of the way, right? Mm-hmm. Like I, I kind of, I, I, I can dive a little bit deeper and then sort of transfer that knowledge, right? To the seller and, and, and try to impede, you know, the, the, the empathetic mind into the seller. Let's, let's look a little bit deeper into this and make a wise decision because in the end, I just want my seller to earn the best price in terms, sure, but I want to close. 